Welcome to the CVU Show. I'm Colton. And I'm Holden, here to give you this week's news. To start, our schedule has been changed back to what it was before December break, after no C3 and extended classes for the month of January. Going back was definitely a change. We go now to our interviewing team, who has gathered some students' opinions on the new, old schedule. Now with C3 back on for the month of February, how are you really feeling now that we have C3 again? We have time. It's nice, I get to ball up, you know. Ball up, pretty yeah. bad at basketball. But, but we're not. Cool. <laughs> basketball is pretty awesome. Does he suck at basketball? Be honest. Yeah, I do. I hey, do. it's okay. We were all there once, but now having this time and playing like in C3, we can actually get better. We can learn something. So yeah. That's awesome, bro. Nice. I appreciate you guys. Right. I mean, like C3, uh, usually I go to uh, C3 with my friends, which is pretty much chilling with Hot Wheels. I'm sure you've heard that before. Chilling with Hot Wheels? Is it the best C3? Oh, uh, yeah. I'd say that. So, how are you feeling about C3 being back on? You know, I mean, I kind of like I kind of like the clubs, but it was also nice to spend it in advisory because I like my advisory. Spend that in advisory. But I don't mind. I feel that. I personally like the clubs. I feel that. I feel that. So honestly, what clubs do you like truly enjoy? Like even the most fun, like worth the time, you know? Um, I really like Bring Change to Mind. That's one of my favorites. Bring Change to Mind. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, I like creating stronger communities. That's I hear that. Fun. I hear that. Be supportive of that. Yeah. Yeah, and Cancer Awareness Club. For sure. Yeah. That's really important. How are you feeling about C3s, like having this time during the end of the day, 20 minutes? I'm very happy that it's back. Very glad that it's there. And yeah. Very glad. How are you really feeling about the C3 time? You know? Um, it's okay. I feel like it's not that long. It's like not long enough to actually do anything. Yeah. I hear that. Um, not long enough, not enough time. I hear that. So, the options of things to do, like, do you think it's really an extensive list? Do you think the list should be bigger? Is it, is it all right? Like, there's just not really interesting stuff to do. Like, what do you think? I think the list is pretty good. Um, there's not a lot of stuff that personally stands out to me that I want to sign up for. I mean, I do have the opportunity to like make up a club though if I wanted to, but I think all the clubs that we have right now are really good for other people to connect and see other people throughout the day. It gives you a better chance to see the in other news, CVU is implementing a new way in which students can catch up on work called Harbor Days. One white day and one red day, students will have the opportunity to come into school and do missing work or catch up on classes with their teachers. Students who are not requested by their teachers will not be required to come to school. But if you're not requested and would like to come in, be sure to speak with your teacher. We now have an interview with Carly Rivard for more information of why CVU decided to give students this opportunity. Thank you for coming in and welcome to the CVU show. Thank you. Uh, would you like to start by introducing yourself? What's your role here at CVU? Sure, my name is Carly Rivard. I am the Personalized Learning Coordinator here at CVU. So what are Harbor Days and why are they called that? Harbor Days are new this year. They're days that we decided to slow things down, take stock and restock before heading back out to sea. So the idea came from the sea metaphor of pulling into harbor and just allowing space and time for students to get the support that they need. So we've already had one Harbor Day. Would you call that a success? Do you think it helped students in the way that it was designed to? So far, anecdotally, yes. We've heard a lot of appreciative students being able to come in and meet with teachers when they had a need for that and teachers appreciating that time as well. Do you think this is something that CVU will start doing more frequently? I think so, yeah. I think um, we're hoping that in the future we'll be able to make time for these days at a regular interval throughout the year. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. We now go to Frankie with this week's sports news. Thanks, Elena. Welcome to CVU Sports. This week was an action-packed week for the Hawks, starting with boys basketball who took on BFA St. Albans on our home court on Tuesday, and over the weekend will be going against Essex High School. Girls basketball also had an interesting week, taking on BHS here at home on Monday, then made their way to St. Johnsbury Academy for a game on Thursday. Boys hockey went all the way to Spartan Arena to take on Rutland High School on Wednesday and look forward to taking on Rice here at Cairns Arena over the weekend. 
Girls hockey had an action-packed week, going to Essex High School on Monday, then heading to Leddy Park Arena on Wednesday to take on Colchester and Burlington, and are going to end off the week at Spartan Arena, facing off against Rutland High School on Saturday. With all the snow on the ground, the ski teams are back at it. Downhill skiing took on Mount Mansfield at Cochrane's on Monday, while the Nordic team had a race against Harwood Union on Tuesday. On Friday, downhill skiing is going to Jay Peak to go against Mount Mansfield for the second time this week. Lastly, boys wrestling has a match this weekend on Saturday at Essex High School. Make sure to cheer on your fellow Hawks. That's it for this week. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Frankie. In other news, last week, students began to select their courses for the 2022 through 2023 school year. In advisory, students were, giving it, were given informational sheets about the courses available to them as well as tips on how to pick classes. There are also options to attend both the Burlington and Essex technical schools, as well as opportunities such as Nexus, dual enrollment, and online or independent study. If you have any questions or concerns, be sure to reach out to your school counselor. Er, it is now February, which means it is Black History Month. Black History Month has been recognized annually since 1976, and this year's theme surrounds black health and wellness. For more information on this historically important month, be sure to check the library. There you'll find a wide variety of books all about black history. And on that note, we're out of time here in the studio. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm Colton. And I'm Holden. And this has been the CBU Show. See you next week.